Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I have officially warmed through all 25 of the Bring Back My Bar waxes that are back in January so that you don't have to. And what I mean by that is I have warmed them so I now have my reviews on all of them so you don't have to purchase so many worried about are you gonna like this one are you gonna like this one um hopefully this video will help you narrow down your list to pick ones that you for sure are gonna love once you order but before we dive in hello welcome if you're new here please subscribe if you haven't already also if you want to become a wickless charm vip the link to my facebook group is down below and don't forget to subscribe your email to my wickless weekly email newsletter because i send out a special coupon in every email and there is a special perk for new subscribers okay guys that's it let's go ahead and dive on in so i'm going to try not to talk about each bar for too long because there's 25 and this could be an extremely long video and i must admit i have to admit i have to admit that i did not warm a full bar of simply patchouli because it was my least favorite and my husband's best friend was over here smelling waxes and i was letting him sniff them and he loved what i like simply patchouli he loved it and so i gave him the like the remaining cubes that was in the bar so i just i saw an opportunity to get it out of my hands and i took it so so sorry about that but if you don't know what Bring That Bar is, it is a semi-annual event where Cincy allows us to vote for our favorite retired waxes to return for a full month. And so once they are available, we can stock up on them, we can find new loves, and we can also add them to our Cincy clubs. And then once that month is over, they would lock into our Cincy club as a always get my bar Cincy bar meaning that you would still continue to get it thanks to Cincy Club. If you haven't seen my Bring Up My Bar videos for this month go check out my recent uploads because I've already had a few uh, for January so far but right now I have my reviews for all 25 bars. So today I'm going to go alphabetically starting with Amaretto. So this one was actually one that I really didn't hate whenever it was warming, but both Brandon and Maddie did not like it. I had picked up Maddie and brought her home, and the first thing she said when she walked in the door was, what was that smell? Um, so I take that as a, uh, she didn't really care for it, and once Brandon got home, he literally told, the, uh, told Alexa to turn off the words because he didn't like it. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it, and I liked it a lot more when it was warming, and it has a very strong performance. So, if you think that you're going to like this, definitely try it. I mean, performance-wise, it was great. It was strong. It lasted a very good length of time. This one is an almond-scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. And again, didn't hate it. Didn't love it. Like, if I had more of this, I would warm it probably, but I'd probably have to keep it in my office since I was the only one who liked it. Um, next, we have Awakening, and this was one I was actually really excited to try because it sounds great. So, this one is Invigorate, invigorate Your Senses with an Unexpected Harmony of White Peach and Vanilla. Um, I actually put this one in... I believe I put this one in my top 12. I'm pretty positive I put this one in my top 12. So I, I did a top 12 video that I will link up here um, for Bring Up My Bar. But I love how clean, but also how peachy and fruity this is. So I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer, which technically it's not spring yet. But, you know, like after the holidays, a lot of us kind of get into like a spring clean mood. I have been. I have been wearing like clean, fresh scents like crazy lately other than these Bring Up My Bars. But I really, really enjoyed this one. It had a really great performance, and I definitely recommend. Up next, we have one that I was actually already familiar with, and I was really excited to have more of it. This is Blood Orange Spice. This was a fall winter scent in a catalog not too long ago. This one is Sweet Tart, of tr Sweet Tart Trio of Candied Apple, Blood Orange Puree, and Cinnamon Stick Will Satisfy Your Autumn Obsession. This one is really heavy on that orange. And it has a little bit less of like the cinnamon stick. I would definitely say more apple and the blood orange. So this is definitely like a fruity, a warm, fruity fall scent. 
really, really light on the cinnamon stick. So if you don't really like cinnamon or spice, but you kind of want to try this one, don't let that cinnamon stick fragrance note scare you away because it's heavy on the blood orange with the apple. And this one has a very good performance and this one is a very easy mixer as well. And next we have a brand new one to me. This was Bananas or B-A-N-A-N-A-S if you want to actually call it what the name is. This also made it my top 12. This one is a delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla reminiscent of a banana flavored taffy. This also reminds me of a banana popsicle. So if you love banana, definitely grab some of this because we don't usually have banana scents like in catalogs. So every like i feel like every spring and summer like i kind of i get asked often for a banana scent and i have to recommend the havana cabana because that's literally the only scent that has a banana fragrance note in it like in the description so if you love banana scents definitely grab this while you can and add it to your scentsy club if you love it because banana is definitely one that's not usually really common in our catalogs up next we have caramel sugar cone i was all also uh, familiar with this one because this one has been in one of my catalogs before this one is guilt-free gooey caramel vanilla sugar cone and a touch of malt it smells exactly what it sounds like it is very delicious very summery and if you warm this with uh warm this with crazy coconut and it has those like together would give it like a summer boardwalk type feel, in my opinion. Um, next we have cinnamon. Cinnamon. I wanted to give this one a thorough shot, but this one sadly only warmed in my house for a day because I changed it. I just, it was too much. I personally don't like cinnamon bear. Cinnamon bear is a scent that comes out in every fall winter catalog. It has come out in every single fall winter catalog that has released since I joined Cincy back in 2017 and I can't stand it. I can't, I, it's just, it's too much, too much like a red hot candy. And this one was just the same. So this one was warm earthy cinnamon and spices meddled with a cool burst of crisp peppermint. Obviously it's well loved because it came back for Bring My Bar. If you don't like, if you don't like cinnamon bear, don't try this because you're not gonna like it. Um, next we have cranberry mango. I was very excited for this one and I'm happy to say that I really, really love this. So cranberry mango is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry and spicy pineapple. I still don't understand what the point of the spiciness of the pineapple is, but I feel like this is just a good true cranberry mango, very good fruity scent. It also gives off fall and winter vibes. If you're wanting if you're like wanting a fruity scent that kind of matches this cold weather that we're having and you're not ready for spring and summer yet, try out cranberry mango because I really like it and the performance of it was bomb. Up next, we got crazy coconut. I already knew that I loved this one. I was so happy to have more of this. This was in a kid's collection years ago whenever we actually had a kid's wax section in the catalog. Um, this one is coconut milk, milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. Like I said, warmness with caramel sugar cone, and that would be a perfect like summer boardwalk treat. Very delicious. If you love coconut, you're going to love crazy coconut. I'm crazy about it, and the performance of it is awesome. Uh, very strong, a very good long-lasting scent, and I was very happy to have more. Um, next, we actually have a licensed one, and this is the Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Um, I like this scent. I really do love this scent, but it's definitely on the lighter side. So that's my downside with it. So whenever I remember voting for the Woody, the Woody fragrance, which was, uh, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it was the Woody scent because that was my favorite. It was like a wood, it's like a sandal wood, it's like a leathery type fragrance. And I really loved that one. Um, this one is blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plump blossom and sugared raspberry. It smells delicious. It's just not a strong scent or at least not for me. So if you want a lighter to medium scent 
that is fruity. Um, you might love this. Um, it's obviously a fan favorite because it came back with Brew a Bar. It's just not my personal favorite. I just wish I could turn up the intensity of it. This Disney scent, though, I love. So this is the Disney, the Twitter padded, Twitter pated, never set. Seven years in, and I still don't know how you pronounce this. This is spring in the air. Spring is in the air, and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops, and lush wild moss. So this is very fresh and outdoorsy, woodsy, but not too woodsy. More of like a, a scent that's going to remind you of like fresh cut grass and sea salt and avocado ish. Very nice. Very good performance. I was very happy to have this one back. Up next, we have Everything Nice. And I was so happy because this one was in, I know that this one was in my first fall and winter catalog back whenever I signed up. This one is Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice, Deep Caramel and Swirls of Butter with Roasted Pumpkin and Glazed Pecans. This one is, it definitely smells different than what I remember. I think it's the pecan in there. But still, also very delicious, very warm and bakery, caramely, and that roasted pumpkin in there isn't too stout. So if you don't like pumpkin, don't let that scare you away. Uh, great performance. I I really love it. I don't know if I'm gonna club it, but I do love it. Up um, next is Falling Leaves. This was a brand new one to me. I was super excited for this. I love woodsy scents and this one reminds me a lot of painted leaves and last i checked painted leaves Cincy bar is in the clearance section of my website right now so falling leaves is an earthy blend of clove cinnamon and patchouli the patchouli is not too strong in it i feel like the patchouli mixes really well and helps it give like a very strong lasting performance but i love this i haven't decided which ones are going into my club but I feel like this is a great fall staple and easy to mix as well. So I was very happy that I love falling leaves. Um, next we have frosted ginger cookie. I already knew that this was a really good bakery scent, but I personally am not a huge fan of ginger. So I can appreciate the fragrance. It's delicious. It smells like what it's supposed to smell like. It has a really great strong performance, but I just don't like ginger. So. I don't like I won't be using this repeatedly so this one is chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla smells exactly what you think it's gonna smell like very yummy very delicious it's just not my personal preference not my personal favorite and that's my personal preference um next we have a scent that I didn't really think I was gonna like this is lavender vanilla and the thing about this one is I didn't realize how stout the patchouli note was going to be in this. It says relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. And in my sniffs video, I mentioned, like, I feel like this is not just a true lavender vanilla. It's more of like a lavender patchouli because that patchouli in there is pretty stout. But I warmed this anyways. I warmed it in the master bed and bathroom. And I'm very happy to say that the performance of this was nice. And again, I feel like that patchouli helped it be a stronger, longer lasting fragrance. While that lavender, if it was more strict of lavender, that's a lighter fragrance note, that would have made it a little bit more towards the medium strength wise and longevity. I feel like the patchouli helps it be stronger and last longer. And you definitely get more of that true lavender vanilla whenever it's warmed. So, very happy with this. And if you like scents like the uh, Jamie Time and the scents from the Catching Z's a Wax Collection, if you love those type of scents, try lavender vanilla because you might find a new favorite. Up next, we have Lana Sara. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I feel like I'm not. I don't really know. Um, this one says, taste the sweet nectar from a honeysuckle trumpet as warm amber and patchouli hover above a spring garden. This was actually one of the first spring up my bars that I wore from this round because it has that, that warm amber in it gives it that more kind of like musky feel. And so I was, I felt like maybe that would be make it a scent that I really would love versus too florally. I hope that makes sense. It kind of smells like a women's perfume. Definitely has that perfume 
vibe to it. I warm it in the master bed and bathroom. I feel like it's a really nice clean floral fragrance. I don't know if I like I would buy more of it, but I really did enjoy it and it had a very good performance and a very it lasted it lasted good. So I change my waxes twice a week. So if the scents can last for three to four days, I consider those a good performer because my warmers turn on at 7.30 and they turn off at 8 p.m. So they're on for a majority of the day. And if you want to learn how to actually set your warmers up on a on and off schedule to where you don't even have to worry about it, here's my video up here about how to set your Alexa to your Scentsy warmers. It has been a game changer. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Up next, we have lots of lavender. I wanted to love this. But sadly, it's definitely just too light for me. So this one is a calming blend of chamomile and lavender. It smells wonderful. It is very relaxing. It is one of those scents though that is just gonna make your home smell like it naturally smells like that. So you might not think, oh, you have something warming, yet your house just naturally smells this nice and fresh. Because it's definitely a light to medium performance um so i just like i don't i wouldn't see myself ordering more of this because like i want my scents to be strong and i want them to last like i feel like that's how i'm going to get the most out of my money um but not everybody likes strong scents so if you need a lighter scent that is going to still fragrance up your home but not be too overpowering Maybe you're sensitive to headaches or maybe, you know, your family is sensitive to headaches or something. Um, I feel like this might be a really good scent for you. So, very good. Up next, we have Peony Petals. This one is a floral. It's a little too floral for my personal taste. This one is Peony and Rose Petals Dance on a Soft Breeze. It's a very nice floral. I appreciate it for, like, the fragrance, like, what it is. It's just... Sadly, I'm not a strict floral person. So if you love florally fragrances, girly scents like this, like perfumey type florals, try this out because I think you'll like it. It's just too much. It's too much flower for me. Up next, we have Red Cedar and Sage. I already knew that I really liked this one. This has been in one of my catalogs before. This one says, run free through Red Cedar and Sage. Wait, run, th run free through... <laughs> Run free through red cedar, sage, and fresh forest greens. I like this. Very nice. Cedar isn't usually my favorite woodsy note, so I don't know if I'm going to like club this or what, but like I definitely enjoy this one. So my favorite woods fragrance notes is sandalwood for sure. Sandalwood and um, birchwood. Driftwood. Birchwood? 